In the beginning there was darkness and Microsoft Paint, a primitive tool wielded by the bravest of designers in a time long forgotten. Then came Adobe Illustrator, a beacon of hope in a world of pixelated chaos. But the people cried out for more, and thus Canva emerged from the digital void. Soon AI was upon the scene. Midjourney heralded a new age where the very essence of a logo could be forged from pure imagination. We thought we had reached the pinnacle of creation, the very zenith of design. Until now. What's up everyone? Today we're going to be creating professional grade logos with AI. And I mean professional grade, literally just using text. So what is this magic platform? Well, it's called Ideagram and you may be thinking, great, another platform, but don't worry, everything I show you today, you can do completely free. You just need to sign up. So what's so special about this platform? Well, on February 28th, Ideagram released its latest model 1.0 version and it's the most advanced model they have to date. I was impressed with the UI and the magic prompt feature, which I'll show more a little bit later, but the one thing that was game changing about this new advancement was the ability for it to embed text into the images. I haven't seen any of the other top players in the game do this right, and this opens up so many doors in terms of designing. When I saw how well Ideagram actually embedded the text within my designs, I knew what I had to do. First up, we're gonna start with some sort of animal logo because those are all the rage right now. But it has to be that cool, low poly style. I asked Claude to create some fictional brand names that I could use and it came up with Hootie's Hideout, which I kind of love. So to create that logo for our fictitious brand Hootie's Hideout, we're gonna go ahead and type in a modern minimalistic logo for Hootie's Hideout. And it's important to put the actual text you want in those parentheses so that it knows that, hey, that's text and I should put that within the image. Comma, low poly count owl. And before we press send, if you have a very specific 200 word prompt that you need to put in here, go ahead and do that. I choose to be lazy and rely on magic prompt to do that, but more on that in just a second. Let's click generate and see what happens. Oh, before I do, you can also change the ratio, which I think is really, really cool. You don't have to like prompt it like mid journey. Actually, let's make it one by one, right? We'll just make it like a one by one logo and press generate. Now it does take a second or two, but it's pretty quick, to be honest. Come on. Look at these, man. These are insane. That low poly count owl format I was talking about. Now, here's what I was talking about before with that whole magic thing. So the prompt we have here was a modern minimal minimalistic logo for Hootie's hideout, low poly count owl. The magic prompt turned this into a sleek and modern logo featuring a low poly minimalistic design of an owl, etc., etc., etc. But you can see what the magic prompt did to create this specific image. And then if we wanted to reprompt, we could just copy this and use this. But let's go back to the four generations here. So right off the bat, I, literally without any edits, I could use both of these. No doubt about it. These two are okay. It's fine. But I love these ones right here. Let me click into this one real quick to see the magic prompt behind this one. Okay, so we have the magic prompt here. Let's go ahead and copy that. And what we're going to do is try another generation. So I'm going to copy that magic prompt I had before, a sleek and modern logo design featuring a low poly minimalistic owl. I don't want it to be a silhouette, so I actually want it to fill it in. Perch on the branch, why is it mysterious? All good. The background is Let's just do a white background. Yeah, I'm just gonna go, background is white. So again, I'm not doing any advanced prompting right here. I'm just simply trying to create something cool. Let's click generate, see what happens. 
Okay, these actually might even be cooler than the last ones. I don't know if they're exactly low poly. Like this one seems to be, but there's kind of more like advanced to it. But I could use this 100%. Eyes are a little wonky. But the coolest thing about all these is you'll know that like the text is designed in a really cool way that fits the image and it's spelled right. I think in pretty much every single one we've tried, right? Okay, they got an I in there. So unfortunately they did get it wrong in that one. But I mean, shoot. 75% of the time, every time it gets it right. So we're looking good here. Let's try, let's try reprompting this one more time. So a sleek and modern logo design. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of this right now. I'm just going to say logo design for Hootie's hideout featuring a low poly colorful owl. Oops. Colorful is spelled with an R. Let's try that. Actually, and why don't we make it landscape? Because why not? It's so easy to do. I'm like, nothing, I love Mid Journey, but it's nice to not have to press the, or type in the dash dash AR169 every time. Okay, I, honestly, I don't really know what these are. This is definitely worse. Uh, well, I, it's, it's subjective, I guess. So if you like these better than cool, I think it's probably worse than the last ones I had here. Let's try one more here. Nice. So now we have some more. I can't really use that one. This one's cool, but I think we had some other ones that were better. Hootie's Hideout, I do actually kind of like this one a lot. And then this one, which is sort of that modern minimalistic look, low poly. That one's cool. Foot's a little wrong, but nothing you can't fix. In fact, why don't we explore that real quick? So we're gonna click on Remix. And then we can use image weight. So if we want to create something similar, we can just add or, you know, subtract the image weight to make it look like it. Let's go four because I kind of want the same thing. I just want it different and right because we're like missing a foot here. Oh, see, now we're getting closer. This one's pretty cool. Maybe a little wonky with some of the polys here, but as you can see, you can keep remixing this and keep reprompting it. And like it gets the words right almost every single time, which is really the main reason why we're using ideogram for this kind of stuff. Anyway, I think we've done enough with Hootie's Hideout. Let's check out our next fictitious brand, Willow Whispers Design. I don't really even know what that means, but we're going to create a logo for it. So let's head back over to our prompts here and let's go with... Willow Whispers design, go ahead and throw that into quotations. Uh, we do not want our last image influencing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Shoot, I, I don't even know what to put here. Let's just generate it and then we'll play with it after. All right, first of all, it's pretty amazing that it just added nature inspired things to it with like the green tones and the leaves. That is just cool as hell, probably because the word Willow. But again, it is spelled it right, not here, but one, two, three right? Three. So like I said, 70% of the time, every time. All right. So let's go a little bit more advanced here. So let's go nature inspired Willow Whispers design logo. I love the minimalistic and modern. I love adding that just because I mean, shoot, who doesn't want a modern looking logo? So let's regenerate this and then we'll take a look at one of the magic prompts and then probably try it one more time to really refine this to look exactly how we want. Okay, we got some more here. I don't know if I love these. Let me check out this one real quick. What is the magic prompt on this? Ooh, contemporary, that's a good word. All right, so let's just paste this in here. Sleek and contemporary nature inspired logo featuring the words in a minimalistic and modern font. Oh, what if we go, the consists of a, an abstract willow tree. The leaves, you know what? I'm just gonna cut it off there. I don't wanna influence it too much. I just kinda wanna create some brand new ones that we can explore. So let's go ahead and click generate on this. Okay, now I feel like we're getting somewhere. These ones are pretty interesting. I actually really like this one. There's just, obviously it's spelled wrong. So that's issue number one. So let's go ahead and remix this. Leak and contemporary. Is there anything I wanna change about this? Let's just give it a go. I think adding the image weight and just hoping that it spells it right this time will honestly fix the issue. Huh. Well, it didn't look like it. No, it didn't. Normally I'd edit this out, but I think it's good to know that you might not get it right on your first try and that's okay. Let me go a completely different path with this. 
So honestly, I'm out of ideas for this. So I'm just going to go over to Claude and ask it for a prompt to hopefully give me something that we can just redesign this whole logo with. Okay, so it gave me a super long prompt here. I'm not even going to read it. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in and see what happens. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Throw you in there. Let's go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. This is it, or at least the start of it. So I would probably remix this. I mean, this is super cool. I could totally just go with this right here. It's spelled right. I love this right here. We'd probably just want to remove the background on this or something. Let's move on to our last fictitious brand, which will be Rocket Donuts. All right, so as you saw before, we didn't get this quite right the first time. If you truly just run out of ideas, just ask AI, ask ChatGPT, ask Google Gemini, ask Claude. Any one of them will give you, I think, some idea of how to prompt this and then just go from there. Just keep remixing it, using part of the prompts to create your own. So let's finish our last one here, Rocket Donuts. And you know what? I'm out of ideas. So we're going to ask Claude again just for a cool logo. All right, just finished again. I'm not even going to read this. I feel like it's more fun just to see what happens with it. So let's go back over to Ideagram here. We're going to paste this huge prompt and click generate. See what happens. This thing is sick. I love these. I have no idea what happened here. Oh, I guess maybe it's like a filter of some sort or something. Maybe they do this if they don't feel like it's safe or something. I've never seen that. Anyway. These ones are amazing. And actually, I want to point out something here that I caught when I did actually reread the prompt. So when we open this up, you can see that for the very specific text, they said, the brand name Rocket Donuts is displayed in a bold, futuristic font with the word rocket in a shiny metallic silver. It literally did exactly that for each of the iterations we have here. And then donuts in a bright, almost neon pink hue, reminiscent of the donuts frosting. Okay, that's genius. So maybe don't even prompt anymore. Just ask AI. Apparently it's much better than I am. These are super cool. You could honestly just like print this, send this to a client. Maybe get rid of this little bit here. This is insane. All right. So we checked out how to create the logos using Ideagram. Like I said, it's free. All you got to do is sign up and this thing is wicked cool. So you don't just have to use this to create logos. You can also use it to create like just really cool imagery. So I wanted... For a specific article I've been creating for my newsletter, my new newsletter, Night Sky, I've been creating some images and some of the ways that I've been able to showcase what I mean or like allow the image to align with the title or headline that I'm using is insane because the text is there and you can just create some really creative and funny ones. Also, I literally just created my logo for the newsletter in like a single text prompt here. First of all, this one was sick. I actually ended up going with this one and adjusted it a little bit, but I mean, come on, that is a beautiful logo. I would pay for this. So check out Ideagram. Let me know what you think in the comments and hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thanks.